and it represents us as Aboriginal people and it represents black excellence, it represents the struggles and the resilience and that's encapsulated at the bottom of it, you know, when you, you see my totems and the stolen generation flowers and it represents a little kid that dreamt big who went on and won Olympic gold and Commonwealth gold. So there's a lot of messages out there and, you know, I've said it many times today, you can't be what you can't see. And I hope now that this statue um, becomes, you know, an inspiration for those thousands of kids out there who, if they believe themselves, back themselves and never get up, you can, you can achieve a lot of things in life. Jan Mara painted me for the Archibald and painted me for my portrait a couple of years ago. So I had that relationship with Jan Damara and I wanted him to be a part of it. So um, Gilly and Mark, you know, they'd done the Statues for Equality in America. I wanted to bring it out here to Australia and I was one of the chosen ones where they'd done a, a polling to the Australian public and who do you want to be immortalised? So that's how it came about and here it is. my kids they spoke very well today and you know they Destiny and Jack went around to see my sporting achievements but they saw another part of my life the last 20 years which you know I've been giving back to communion and I've always said you know as much as given much is expected and it's expected of me to continually give back and to give people a voice that don't have one couldn't have been any more perfect you know you've got the Olympics games which are going to commence next week um, Ash Barty one on the weekend and Patrick Mills, you know, is our flag bearer. So in terms of black excellence and, and Aboriginal people that are really being valued and recognised, not only here in this country, but internationally. So I'm, I'm just really pleased to be part of history and pleased to be a part of a special week for Aboriginal people, but also for all Australians.